get ready to go back in time and do this dessert. For me, I do think there are few recipes that we lost due to time and this is one of them. These are the classic marshmallow flavored Rice Krispie squares. You're going to need a non-stick spray, very important. About two and a half ounces of marshmallow, which is about 70 grams. 100 grams of Rice Krispie, which is about three and a half ounces. A stick of water. This will be the base, but you can go in so many directions by adding nuts, like peanuts, or chocolate pieces and much much more for this amount of ingredients you will also need an 8 by 9 inch oven dish which is about uh, 20 centimeters by 25 centimeters a rectangular or a square dish about this size will do start by heating your pan and then melt the butter once the butter is melted, it's time to add the marshmallows. You might have noticed that I have white marshmallows and pink marshmallows. The color really doesn't matter. In the end, it will all melt and mix with the butter. So the color won't make that much of a difference. This is where I tell you, you have to work quickly. Add in your Rice Krispies, mix that in until it absorbs all the butter and marshmallow, keep stirring. You will know that the Rice Krispies are done once they absorb all those butter and marshmallow mixture and nothing remains in the pan. By this time you can turn off the heat. This is the important step. Spray your oven dish with a non-stick spray. This will make your life easier. Don't forget to do it. Unless you're happy having a difficult time getting it out of the pan, then don't spray. While the Rice Krispies are still hot, add them to the oven dish. Spread them around. Make sure they are distributed equally so you don't have up and down or uneven surface. Some recipes call for the addition of wax paper and adding weight on top of the Rice Krispies to make them more compact. I see this as an unnecessary step. You can easily compact them using your hand, just like that. You can try the weight method if you like. Let us know what you prefer down in the comments. Now we wait for it to cool down. I left it for about an hour. This is where the power of the non-stick spray is on display. All you have to do is flip your oven dish, a few taps and your Rice Krispies are out of the oven dish. Using a knife, start cutting the Rice Krispies into squares. Once 
With that, your Rice Krispies are ready to be served. If you have any questions or comment, please feel free to leave them below. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel and sharing the videos with your friends. Another way to enjoy these Rice Krispies is with some chocolate syrup. You can easily sprinkle them on and serve them up. By now you should know I like my high fructose corn syrup.